Hello everybody, Puzzle Pieces here with more of Nancy Drew, Secret of the Scarlet Hand, and we are working with gods right now. So, uh, the idea is you have to match the god with the god, and if you get it wrong, then you have to start all over again. So let's try to do the ones that are a little more trickier. I think he's the god of death. No, he's not. Ah, that's the Jaguar God. Okay, cool. Uh, Corn. No. Rain. Wind. Wind. Okay. So, Jaguar. Camille. God. Traveling? Nope. Death. Okay. So, uh, yeah, Jaguar God, you were the corn god? Darn it. Wind god? Yes, okay. You. Okay, I know who this one is. We're gonna leave that one there. Uh, you. No. Which one were you? Were you the rain? No. Wind? No. Nope. You weren't the sun. You weren't the war god, because that's Balak. No. Nope. Traveler? Ah, you're the traveler. Okay. A e creep. <laughs> I keep forgetting what this one is. Okay, there. You are the traveler. There we go. You're the moon. Balak is the warrior. Uh, Talok was the rain god. Yes. You're the sun. You're the wind. Nope. You're the corn. <laughs> no, you're the corn. <laughs> Woohoo! Did it. Okay. So, yeah, we can go across the really rickety bridge here and uh, we have another quiz uh, get your souvenir light stick from the tomb okay so once we get this done then we can go get the um, the thing I wonder if Henrik would remember the answer what animal did Laura Bacall fear the most SJ, remove this at once. Okay, so sign June. Oops. Okay, so. Okay. So that's how we get the light stick. Hmm. back to the hospital, see if Henrik might know. Good afternoon, young lady. Uh... This is a long shot, but do you know what animal Pakal was afraid of? You're asking the wrong amnesiac. Darn it. Uh... Call me the... And scatter the pieces around the world. Do you remember anything about those? According to your notes, Pakal made a six-part key to the Whisperer's tomb and scattered the pieces around the world. Do you remember anything about this? Six keys? Six keys? Six keys! Yes. Nancy, what are the four corners of the world? North, south, east, and west. Okay. Plus the first king, Pakal himself, and the Copan fool. Okay. When they're all assembled, they open the tomb. Don't you see? This is why I stole the Pakal, to prevent some other schemer from putting the key together. Okay. Uh. Maybe I'd better tell Joanna what's going on. You must keep this to yourself for now. It's your only hope of getting to the bottom of this. Okay, so... Henrik, I need to know where you put the Pakal carving. Who 
knows? <laughs> Thanks. Uh, okay. You rest up. I'll be back. I'll do my best. Okay. So now we know we need to find the keys. Um. Hopefully now he'll talk to me, but I don't know if I've activate, activated a part in the game that will let Rockwell me talk Jackson to him. And Rose. How may I direct Probably call? not. This is Nancy Drew. Calling for Franklin Rose, please. Just a minute, please. Nancy, to <sighs> what do I owe the pleasure of this call? Oops. False alarm. <laughs> I'll call you later. Not a problem, dear. <laughs> you really need to stop calling me like this. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Yeah, I think we tried that none of these fit. And, oh, but we, yeah, we, we can't get onto the ham radio until we get the papers for, um, um, Alejandra, so. Very useless to me. To Go to it. Okay. Well, I guess we can go back to the hotel, call the, um, the Mexican Museum there, and see if they can help us. All right. Let's see. What was there? Oh yeah, we had the other number to call too. So uh, one six zero oh, five 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 one. No, sorry, three one nine five. I can read. <laughs> Daddle residence. Hi, may I speak to Henry Daddle, please? Speaking. Uh -huh. Mr. Daddle, my name is Nancy Drew. This is a long shot, but I'm calling regarding a Maya artifact that was bought at auction in 1898 by one Henry Albert Daddle. Does that ring any bells? Sure. Henry Albert Daddle Sr. was my great grandfather. You're talking about the jade carving, right? Yes, exactly. Wow, I can't believe my luck. Well, it's a lucky life if you ask me. <laughs> so what can I do for you? Uh, Thor is still in the family. I'm investigating a recent rash of thefts around the country. Uh, yes, my... I'm investigating a recent rash of thefts around the country involving similar Maya artifacts. Any information you could give me about the one your great-grandfather bought would be very helpful. I see. Well, I was the last to inherit the carving, but my daughter Penelope was so intrigued with it that I gave it to her. I'm sure she'd be happy to talk to you about it. Oh. Why don't you give her a call on her line? Yeah. It's 555-3197. Five, 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 3197. Three, okay. I hope she's here in... Uh... Will do. Thanks, Mr. Daddle. My pleasure. Cool, we're calling people. All right, so, uh, five, 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 three, one, nine, seven. We're sorry, your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial again. This is a record. Oh, okay, hold on. One, six, oh, five, 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 three, one, nine, seven. Maybe that's it. Maybe it is long distance. Hello? Yay. Hi, is this Penelope? Not even. Oh, is this 605-555-3197? Yeah, but no one calls me Penelope anymore. Except my parents, that is. To my friends, the art world, and 
Anyone else who made it out of the 20th century? I'm ah, Poppy. It's Poppy Are Dada. We? Wait, you're not Poppy Dada, are you? Ta-da! Ping, ping! You win! Who's this? My name's Nancy Drew. I'm a detective. A detective? No way! So do you get to wear a sassy tweed hat and pick hairs off dead bodies and gross, creepy stuff like that? Uh, <laughs> not yet. Uh. Actually, I try to keep a low profile and a tweed hat. Well, it's a little conspicuous. So, where'd you get my name? Don't tell me I'm, like, wanted by the FBI or something. That would be too scandalous. <laughs> Uh... No, no. You see, it's all a big coincidence. Your dad's name came up in connection with a case I'm working on. Go, Dad. Don't tell me he's wanted by the FBI. <laughs> Go, Dad. You're I'm wanted by the so FBI. <laughs> uh... Actually, I called hoping your dad could help me solve this case. That's hot. What's the case? <laughs> Are there dead bodies involved? Do you need to, like, tap my phone or impersonate me or something? <laughs> no. Um... Someone is stealing Maya antiquities, jade carvings to be exact, and leaving this scary red handprint at the scene of every crime. Ghastly. So, what's with the red hand? Mm. It's printed with this stuff called cinnabar. Nobody seems to know what it means. All I know is the more I investigate, the more complicated it gets. Drama. <laughs> so, where do the daddles come in? <laughs> daddles. Um... I got a tip that your great-great-grandfather bought a jade carving much like the ones that are being stolen. I'm hoping to take a look at it. You mean that ancient green rock with the weird symbol on it? I slapped some shoe polish on it and stuck it in one of my paintings. You're kidding. That's a one-of-a-kind Maya artifact, a piece of history. It's hundreds of years old. It's worth a lot of money. That's the whole point. Have you heard the saying that a work of art is never finished, just abandoned? <laughs> well, I'm taking that idea to the limit by making art that will keep changing mm. as different people encounter, perceive, and interact with it. I'm tired of mm. artwork that says, don't touch. I'm all about letting go, about sending my work into the world and seeing how it continues to become. Don't you see? It's an organic process. I mean, how can people really relate to art if it doesn't come to life and and, and grow and die? It's just like they do. Okay. That carving is part of something bigger now. All right. Uh... It seems awfully reckless to me, not to mention the wrench it throws into my investigation. Oh, Nancy, don't be such a prude. <laughs> Taylor's probably still got that artwork. At least, I don't think he's sold it yet. Why don't you ask him? Tell him you want to see the piece called Deadly Midnight Snack. <laughs> it's the one with the rubber shark. Oh, okay. The one with the rubber shark. Yes, I've seen it, but I didn't notice any jade carving. Well, take a closer look there, sweets. It's in there. If you really need the carving to crack this case, why don't you just go ahead and take it? But wouldn't it ruin your painting? Of course not. After all, this is a chance to enact exactly what I've been talking about. The <laughs> organic process. Inviting the viewers <coughs> to interact with my work. <laughs> I need Taylor, this for, for Chris. You take the carving, <laughs> but you have to put something in its place. Okay. Um... I can choose anything? A light bulb? A magnifying glass? A pair of headphones? No, it should be something more organic. Organic. Stay with the title, Deadly Midnight Snack. And don't be afraid to go way out. As an artist, I can tell you that inspiration bites in the most mysterious ways. Okay, so those are big hints. I'll do my best. Right on. But let's keep Taylor out of this. Mm -hmm. He probably blow a gasket if he saw you tampering with the merchandise. That's all art is to him, you know. Merchandise. It's a deal. Good luck, Nancy. Hmm. Thanks, Bobby. Bye. Cool. That was fun. Alright. Uh, who else were we gonna call? <laughs> uh, yes, the, uh, the museum. That's right. Um, so I think it... 
was... Oh, I can't remember the extension. I don't think this is it, but... Five, five, four hundred... Or four thousand. Yes, I know numbers. But apparently not this phone number. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we know Sinclair has it. Let's go to Sinclair then. Hmm. He's still here. Any news? Mind if I help myself to one of those scrumptious looking Oaxacan cookies? Be my guest. Nice. We have a cookie. <laughs> I just came here for a cookie, that's all. Um, okay. So, um... Yeah, I need the number for the museum. Do, 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 do. It's my fault for not writing down the phone number. Oh, 505, okay. Just writing that in here. 505, okay. Yeah, because I can't make long distance calls here, so I have to go back to the hotel to do that. Maybe when it's like late at night, I can go back to St. Clair's. I don't know. Ooh. Or maybe I can ask Joanna Come in. to get St. Clair. Need something? No, oh. I've got work to do. Go to it. Seriously? <laughs> she could have helped by saying, hey, St. Clair, I need you over here for like a meeting or something. And then we sneak into his office, but. Nope, apparently not. Okay, I'm going to the phone. One, five, oh, five, 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 four thousand. Got two minutes. We're sorry, your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial again. This is a recording. Wait, but I thought I did call. What? One, five, zero, five, 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 four, thousand. Watch it not be the right number. We're sorry, your call cannot be completed as dialed. Hmm. Yeah, it's only four, so let's make it like later at night. Maybe nine o'clock. Then maybe head to Sinclair's, see if we can get into his office. He won't be there this late. That's the point. That's why we're going there. <laughs> he won't be there this late. <sighs> Nancy. Okay, well, next day then. He won't notice a thing. All right. So we're good. We got one out of six. <laughs> All right, back to the museum. Okay, well, let's check in with Joanna. Come in. Yeah, you're still here. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. So in the next video, we are going to, what are we going to do? We're going to hopefully get a hold of um, Prudence Rutherford. Um, and to do that, we need to talk to Franklin. Uh, so do stay tuned for that. This is Puzzle Pieces signing off.